We are in Shenzhen, a Chinese Silicon Valley. Let's have a look at one of numerous manufacturers of mobile phones and find out how the Chinese make their gadgets. It all begins at a huge warehouse where various components are kept. In this building there are three warehouses. In the first one you can find motherboards, connecting cables and other small parts. The temperature here is always about 20 degrees Celsius. That is optimal for keeping components. In the second warehouse there are screens, touches and cameras. All components are inserted into each other plastic containers, which are put in boxes. That's the packing in which the components are delivered from other manufacturers. In different phone models similar components can be used, for example cameras. So it's easier to develop new models and debug the firmware. In the third warehouse, the biggest one by the way, you can find shelves for all models of phones produced here. They produce not only up-to-date smartphones on Android, but also simple models with buttons. Saga company develops new models and assembles the phones, but all the components are ordered from other manufacturers. 2,000 phones a day are produced in this building. If only one tiny part is missing, it will cost waste of time and loss of money. That is absolutely unacceptable. There are girls to keep us who are responsible for having all necessary parts in stock. As soon as they are running out of something, the company orders it from the suppliers. There are 20 production lines on the manufacture and every line produces a different model of phones. We are visiting the company just before the Chinese New Year, so they worked only 8 lines and the whole output was accordingly less. Assembling phones is conveyor manual work of dozens of people. But the conveyor is not the first stage of the production. The matter is that all motherboards consisted of the SOC, memory and other main parts are supplied without any firmware. So the first thing is to upload the firmware. It's done with the help of special equipment and takes some minutes for four motherboards. After that it's time for the conveyor. First of all necessary parts are sold to the motherboard. With uploaded firmware of course. Cameras and other inner parts are inserted very carefully. At the same time, the shell of the phone is getting ready. Firstly, the screen is checked. Then, to get rid of all the dust, the screen is blown on with a strong airflow. To avoid scratches, the screen guard is stuck. Then, cameras are inserted into the front panel. The cables are laid and inner parts of buttons are soldered to the motherboard. Then, the motherboard is screwed onto the shell. All the workers have special bracelets with grounding to get rid of static electricity. In front of every worker there is a sheet with instruction where it's drawn what to do and how. But everybody works automatically like robots, so these instructions are useful only for new workers. All actions are very simple and easy to remember, so this work can do anyone who has fingers. That's why the company can employ people from villages who are ready to work for a penny. This is harsh reality. To make cheap phones you need cheap workers. The phone isn't ready yet, but the first test has already started. It's done right here on the conveyor. The screen is checked, the battery is inserted, the phone is powered on. All main functions, including the loudspeaker, are also tested. Then they check cameras. There is a color and white balance test for a back camera and some tests for a front one. As a picture for the test, the worker's face is used. If the first test is passed successfully, the workers go on assembling the phone. If not, the phone is sent back for assembly and the phone started to on the conveyor from the beginning. Then the signal is tested. The SIM card is inserted into the phone and the first call is made. The gadget shows if the signal is OK. On the slight deviation from the norm are acceptable. Then sound quality in earphones is tested. They call to the auto informer and just listen. At this stage the phones are almost ready. Temporary screen guards are removed and regular ones are stuck to the screen. Buyers will get their phones with these screen guards. One more examination of the phone. They check if there are bears on plastic. If necessary, they cut them off. Now the phones are moved about the manufacturing nice colored soft containers. At the end, a special code is stuck to the phone. With its help, you can find out who made the phone and when. It's necessary information in case of flaws. That's how they make phones. By hand, no machinery. Qualified engineers supervise the whole process. Here they test not only phones, but also batteries. The phones here are tested not once or twice. There are some stages of testing.
，把它丢在产线上面会测试一遍，产线上面测试一遍完了后。The phones have already been tested on the conveyor. After that, they go to this room for quality control, and here they are tested once again. The SIM card is inserted into every phone. The back shell is shut, so the test would be more objective, and the phones are powered on. Through the engineer menu, the inspectors check all the main functions: sense, screen, sound, and that's how every phone is tested. Here are already tested phones my Saga C4. Every day all the phones produced in all 20 production lines are brought to this room for the test. Then goes the third stage of the test. This time not all the phones are tested. They take some phones at random and check all main functions. Here they put phones that failed the test. They are sent back to the conveyor for assembly. And there there are phones that passed. There is a special department where the firmware is tested. All day long, girls use the phones, push the buttons, so to say, and try to find some lags and bugs. There is also a testing laboratory. Here the phones are tested on the ability to open and close many, many times. The phone must survive after 80,000 touching the screen. The phones are tested on twisting. They even check USB connectors. It must be okay after a definite number of frictions. These are Saga phones that look like Huawei P6. At the moment, this model is being prepared for the international market, so these phones are in this lab. Here the screen is checked. The plummet falls down from 50 cm height and the screen must survive after two such fallings. Behind these closed tightly doors they check loudspeakers. With the sound on at full volume, the phone is left for 96 hours. After the test the sound quality shouldn't change. In this cell the phones are kept at temperature 50 degrees below zero for 24 hours. And here, a temperature 50 degrees above zero. After such experiments, the phone shell shouldn't deform and should be workable. In this cell they study how dust affects the phones, how much it gets inside or if dusty airflow affects the screen. Flip phones are usually easier to break after falling down. The workers tried to impress us and threw the flip to the metal surface. They threw it in different ways and even with screen down. The flip never opened, nothing cracked, and the phone went on working. This phone has two sensor screens and works on the way. If after all these experiments the phone happens to survive, it's put in the cell where it's turned around very, very quickly. Unfortunately, our guide refused to test his Samsung. In the testing lab they don't test mass product. As for this room behind the glass, the phones are tested here for the fourth time, right before packing. Every tenth phone is tested. This is the workshop where they prepare packing. As you can see, what is written on the package is not Saga. They don't make boxes here, don't print anything on them, they only assemble them. Empty boxes are the only thing that you can see here. Several dozens of people work here on the conveyor. In the output there are boxes where phones, charges, cables and manuals will be put in. For an nice tile, this is a kind of OEM lot. Charges, USB connectors, manuals, these are the things carried in carts here. They are packed and sent to customers. There is not only thorough quality control, but also good security. At the shipment platform and huge boxes there are goods for customers from all over the world. That's how the Chinese make their phones. We'd like to thank Saga company for the interesting excursion. 
Did you like this video? Like it and subscribe on our channel. More interesting videos coming soon.